A big push from the Spokane Human Rights Commission to change laws it claims criminalize the homeless. The commission sent a letter to the city asking that four ordinances be amended or repealed. And KXY 4's Brittany Paris working for you. She's got more on this tonight. Remove or rework four laws. That's what the Spokane Human Rights Commission is asking the city to do. It sent a letter to Mayor David Condon and the city council last week, analyzing the aggressive panhandling, sit and lie, transient shelter, and camping in public parks ordinances. The letter also offered the commission's recommendations. To send a message that we truly care about the homeless, we need to show that through our laws. The committee says these laws criminalize the basic everyday activities of people who have nowhere to live by restricting, among other things, outdoor sleeping and panhandling. Or, you know, citing people or arresting people for something like sleeping uh, is just really problematic to me. Chair of the Human Rights Commission, Blaine Stum, says we need a different approach. But the city says it has strategies geared toward helping those in need. Our first and foremost priority is to make sure people in our community are safe regardless of their, their circumstances. And Jonathan Malahan is the Director of Community and Neighborhood Services. He says the city invests more than $13 million annually in social services and housing to help those in need and has adopted policies the U.S. Interagency Council on Homelessness recommended. Policies that offer housing and employment opportunities and alternatives to incarceration. We believe we're doing uh, a lot to make sure that people have alternatives uh, for housing and services and that we are not criminalizing homelessness. The Human Rights Commission also argues the laws put Spokane in jeopardy of losing federal funding from the Department of Housing and Urban Development which directs more money to cities that work toward decriminalizing homelessness. But Malahan says that's not the case. He says the city plans on responding to the letter and will work with the Human Rights Commission to decide if changes need to be made. Reporting in Spokane, Brittany Paris, KXLY 4 News.